Just wanted to take a minute today to film my XBMC setup. Uh, I've done this before in the past, but now I have a, an appropriate way of filming this via Cam Studio, which you'll see because I'm not going to edit that out, as well as this uh, microphone on the 930 Logitech headset. Uh, basically, it's just a custom rig here that I have sitting in the living room. It's a mini ITX board. It has the Intel processor. I run a 770 because I do run some uh, late games on here, but I use the dongle for the wireless Xbox 360 connection. I uh, use a Flirk remote as well as the Logitech K400 keyboard. So that's not too fancy in terms of the keyboard, but I do love that Flirk uh, receiver in order to use my Logitech Harmony 650 remote. It's sitting pretty far away from the television. Pretty much the only way to drive this bad boy. This is the Ace theme. Uh, it's the Gotham install. Not running a nightly build on this machine. This is the key to the setup here. It's going to be ROM Collection Browser. And I'll just kind of scroll through here as I talk. So the videos are a new addition since the last time I showed this. Uh, I got the videos from Emu Movies. I actually forked over $20 to have access uh, for a month. Now, some may scoff at that, but I thought it was worth it. Uh, I have videos for all of these map pretty much. Um, they're 30 seconds, they just loop. But they're pretty neat. Uh, Emu Movies is great. They have a desktop platform. I'm on a Windows 7 machine, by the way. The desktop platform is great. They have FTP access, so you can access in, search for your appropriate file if it doesn't map up via the desktop platform, which may happen depending on your naming convention. So some things um, can become a little bit tedious with the ROM Collection browser here. But this is so phenomenal. This is my favorite uh, view here. Using Ace Theme, it integrates with ROM Collection Browser, which was the catalyst for me moving forward with Ace Theme, opposed to Confluence. Uh, Confluence has some better visuals uh, where you can like run the visualizer in the background while you're digging through all the, the UI, but it does not have this level of integration with ROM Collection Browser. Uh, the wide view here is a pretty good one as well. You can see this one has the videos a little bit larger. Now these are the only two views of videos, so if you go mapping your videos and you're like, hey, looking at your poster, you're like, the hell, my videos aren't working. Well, your videos aren't going to show with that particular setup, so uh, it's only going to be the wide and the wall. I used to use the walls here, or sorry, the wide and the panel. I used to use the walls. Uh, they look good. They just don't show the videos, so again, I went with panel. You have your INF file information there, all that. One thing I noticed with uh, Confluence is some of this here, they have these kind of iOS touchscreen type interface here with these navigation, uh, you sort by year, genre. Man, ROM Collection Browser rocks. Advanced Launcher is another really good one. I actually used uh, quite a bit of the documentation for Advanced Launcher to get this bad boy configured. Uh, there's just not a ton of information out there, unfortunately, um, for getting the parameters and everything in place. I'm not using Retro Arcade. It's something that I entertained. Uh, it seems like a really great platform, but I just found it was another UI. It was another thing to have running in the background. I just have so much running in the background on this machine. It's insane. Um, but it's, again, it's pretty quick. These emulators don't use a lot of resources. No big deal. Uh, again, I was just kind of cutting the fat, and uh, I found I can launch them straight from here, configure them at the individual emulator level, and uh, yeah, it's a bit tedious but it's done and uh, I like the look of it I'm not gonna launch any of those Pandora is really great with XBMC it's just a uh, fantastic you get the XBMC visualizers which are second to none really uh, typically if I'm listening to music I'm be using airplay I'm just shooting songs from the phone on here steam I'm not gonna launch that let's say the one unique item I've done with steam is I launch origin games from it because Origin's not really uh, remote friendly. I want to do everything from a 360 remote or my Logitech 650. I don't want to grab keyboard and mouse from this machine. Uh, if I wanted to do that, I would be on a different machine. That does not have a video card, unfortunately, that can handle this. Hulu is really great for XBMC. Uh, it's one of the beneficial add-ons. Netflix is not so great. Netflix uh, launches Chrome and Kiosk mode. I'm a little bit... Uh, Mixed feelings toward that, it's just mainly negative sentiment. It just doesn't really get it done, in my opinion. Uh, you can map it to your keyboard slash universal remote with the Flirk receiver. Yeah, I don't have huge compliments toward that. 
Ace theme is great. It lets you cost, customize your main menu without digging through XML files. Uh, and the customization is pretty limitless outside of a, a really stingy limit on the number of, uh, not so much with your favorites here, but the number of add-ons that you can throw on here or video nodes. Uh, it's pretty stingy in that regard. But other than that, just really love the Ace theme. Eon Nux is another one that looks really good. But again, I just added the favorites here and just flag them from individual add-ons. You see the video add-ons, I can dive into those. Music, this is pulling from, I actually have a library that hosts on a network storage here in the house. And I pull my, my iTunes library for several different machines onto that. And then it maps over here, and I can play them through here. Again, if I'm going to be listening to music, it's likely going to be AirPlay, or I'll use Pandora before I resort to this, simply because there's no great way to dig through and find the tune I want to find um, immediately. All my movies uh, in local media here, again, it's on that network storage. Not a ton of it, but I do love the way that uh, XPMC maps all this. All of this pulls from a database, similar with ROM Collection Browser. All of your album artwork, all of your INF files, all of that good stuff is going to pull from a database as long as your files are named appropriately. Uh, if it's something that they can't fish for in an automated fashion, then you're going to be digging yourself. Uh, so I imagine that's, that's something you want to nail down first. But uh, that's pretty much it. It's, uh, in my opinion, pretty good kick-ass setup. I spent a ton of time in front of this machine and I just really enjoy it and I uh, hope to see it come along a lot further in the in the coming time. But uh appreciate you checking this out. Peace.